Welcome to Melanated Magic TV and I am your host Jessica X and today I am coming to you with two articles and I am going to be talking about the COVID-19 virus in my area and in the South Carolina area that is right across from me um, across from my home my home city that is across the street from um, us on the other side of the Savannah River which is like Aiken and um, North Augusta area so with my first article I am reading from WRDW AU, AU Health now says they've they've had 13 positive COVID-19 tests Augusta University health officials have updated the latest COVID-19 numbers for the hospital in the past several days AU says they're collected collected 13 total positive cases of the virus monday two positive wednesday four positives thursday three positives friday which is today and this article is dated for today four positives so far au says 80 tests for the virus has been have come back negative however over 250 tests are currently pending au officials say also say they have spoken with 723 patients through their hotline to help screen for COVID-19. 537 telemedicine screenings and 156 drive through screenings. Getting screened through Augusta University Health drive through service beginning Wednesday, March 8th, Augusta University Health will open their drive through clinic daily from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and is only available for patients who receive a positive screening through the free AU Health COVID-19 virtual screening application at www.augustahealth.com dot org slash covid 19 okay so let me tell you really quick i went online to actually look at this and to see so it's going to take you to a website in order for you to actually get screen you're going to have to download an app called um it is called express carry what it's going to do is link you with um some doctors who are with Augusta University Health. So, um, you're going to be able to talk to one of them, but you have to have this app to be able to get screened, you know, do the online screening. Okay, so back to the article. To limit virus exposure and risk, everyone experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, such as fever, cough, and shortness of breath, are encouraged to use the virtual care application or to call the health system hotline at 706-721-1852 before visiting the emergency room urgent care or doctor's office drive through testing has been successful in many areas of our country as hospitals work to increase testing capabilities and limit exposure au has also had around 240 calls to the COVID-19 hotline and seen about 200 virtual visits through its virtual screening application with an average visit time of 10 minutes or less. AU health experts expects to be able to rapidly expand testing as part, hold on, AU Health expects to be able to rapidly expand testing as part of its new drive through testing location. And my second article, total numbers of the COVID-19 in CSRA, South Carolina and Georgia. And this one is dated for yesterday. So... Um, I should have probably did this one first, but oh well, long as I get both of them out. Um, 
the CSRA has a total of 15 cases of COVID-19. AU Health has confirmed 13 total cases of coronavirus. Those are, hold on, those are cases confirmed through their testing. Doctors Hospital has confirmed one positive case of coronavirus. 10 other cases cases care currently under investigation. South Carolina DPH has confirmed one case in Saluda, South Carolina. Saluda County, South Carolina. In Georgia, currently there are 420 cases in the state and 13 related deaths. You can keep up with Georgia Department of Public Health COVID-19 daily status report here. And they got a link for it. Currently, um, SCDHEC is reported a total of 81 cases in the Palmetto State um, DHC, DHEC COVID-19 um, county map provides um, the number of cases by county and is updated daily. And then it gives you the stats per AU Health. And this is for yesterday, which is March 19th through March 20th. Okay, so from yesterday to today, from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Um, it says positive cases, 13, negative 80 pending 250 plus hotline call 723 parentheses 287 spent sent to the app for screening um telemedicine screening 537 parentheses 199 identified for further drive-through testing drive-through visits 156 so um this is what i am reading these two articles and i'm actually getting updates by the minute um they haven't really updated it since but i okay last night i was in a live and i remember telling lisa that it was nine here yesterday and this morning now it's a total of 13 and well if you include south carolina what well, is 15 total like this is crazy it's starting to you know spread rapidly like it, it is crazy and like yesterday i remember i had to go to my um ortho orthopedic surgeon to get my cast taken off and before i can even go into the doctor's office i had to literally go through a screening like they was not letting us in you had to stop and get your temperature checked and i'm like bro i, I don't want to go through this if really like i gotta do all of this just to get my cast taken off and then it was a lot of people in there thankfully the office was really big so i sat all the way on the other side so i didn't really have to sit up under anyone but it was just very nerve-wracking sitting in in, in, that, in that office waiting to be seen like it was actually terrifying and you know if you sneeze or cough people looking at you crazy and it's like people are forgetting the fact that we're in the south it is what about 80 90 degrees here matter of fact let me let me look really quick and i can i can tell you exactly it's 86 degrees right now and it, it says that it feel like 88 be honest which you feel like it's about 91 degrees and it's flowers blooming the trees are blooming it's pollen everywhere i constantly have to like wash my car off and let's not forget people it is allergy season so if you're gonna cough or sneeze or whatever we don't we don't want your germs on us so let's make sure that we constantly wash our hands we use when we're not able to wash our hands let's make sure we use um make sure we use sanitizer and to make sure that we keep our immune system up to date let's make sure that we drink um elderberry juice um let's get us some black seed oil get you some zinc get you some vitamin d get you some vitamin c get you some colloidal silver make sure that you you get you some um soursop leaves make you some tea make sure you drink that a few times a day make sure you get you some limes just drink straight lime juice with the water you know you mix it if you want to sweeten it up don't use sugar make sure you use raw honey 
raw honey and it's best to find locally supplied honey because a lot of this honey that is claimed to be honey on the shelves is not it is literally sugar cooked down to made to look like honey and it's not real honey um so and, and what else i mentioned the black seed oil the colloidal silver the zinc um what else um Irish moss. Make sure you get you some of that too. And if you want to do detoxes or whatever, you can use some centipods. You can get it off of Amazon. Get you some centipods and it for an adult. You can I want to say it's like ten pots. You break down and you make a tea. You make you a tea and you drink it. Drink it and it's gonna clean you out. Make sure you relax for the next twelve hours. And it's not like we're going anywhere, people. You you're gonna be at home. So that way, when you're using all of these other vitamins to boost your immune system, that your body itself, like your intestines, is cleaned out. So make sure you, you do a detox and clean out your colon system. That'll help boost your immune system. You can also, um, let me see. I, I no longer use regular milk because I have asthma. And with asthma, if you're drinking dairy... It builds up the mucus in your chest. And I want to make sure I don't have mucus in my chest. So what I do use, I drink almond milk. Almond milk tends to last a lot longer. And it it's good. I use the one, I, I like to use the unsweetened almond milk and almond milk with coconut milk. It is really, really good. But anyway, people, I am going to keep you updated what is going on in my area. Also, um, I, I couldn't seem to find the article, but... They have FEMA out at Plant Vogel here, and I want to say that is in Waynesboro, Georgia. Now, with Plant Vogel, they deal with energy, and they, I want to say it's about anywhere between 8,000 to 9,000 um, employees there, and literally, people come in from all across the United States to work at Plant Vogel, and so I do know that they do have um, FEMA with tents out there doing testing. I'll see if I can find the article um, just so I can report on it. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, folks, I am your host, Jessica X. Thanks for tuning in.